In this video, I'm going to show you how to use TeacherMade, a great education website that helps you convert handouts, worksheets, and documents of other kinds into activities, or if you want to just think of it as online digital worksheets, that's also doable too. So here I am on the TeacherMade homepage. And there's a couple of different accounts. You can get the pro account, you can get the basic free account to start with, and you can see some of those options here at the top. I'm just going to click on login here at the top of the screen. And I don't have an account yet, at least not with this email address. That's okay. I could create an account here, or I could just sign in with Google. Even though I haven't used this account with TeacherMade before, I can just click sign in with Google. I select my Google account, and it puts in my information. And then I'll click register. So that just makes it a little quicker and easier to get signed up for TeacherMade. The first time that you visit TeacherMade, you'll get some pop-up suggestions and helpful information to help you get started. I'm just going to X out of that though. And it takes me to my TeacherMade homepage where it has my worksheets. I don't have any worksheets, so let's change that by going here to Actions and selecting Create Worksheet. Now notice that it is also possible to create folders. I could set up a folder for, let's say, my Spanish 1 class and set up a separate one for Spanish 2. Click OK, and then I could jump inside one of those folders. So now that I'm inside that folder, I can click Actions, Create Worksheet, and this will be created inside that particular folder. Here I'll enter a title for my worksheet. I'm going to title this Spanish Adjectives and Nouns Correct Usage, something like that. You can see that it's in the Spanish 2 folder. If I want to change that, I certainly can. I could put in a description. I'll just call this a worksheet. At this point, I need to put in the background for this online digital worksheet. And I actually already have a worksheet. This is one that I created years ago, and it's in PDF format. In the past, I would have just printed this out and handed it out to my students for them to enjoy, and I'm sure they loved it. But I want to take that document, upload it into TeacherMade, and make it digital. You can see that it accepts JPEGs, PDFs, Word docs, etc. So I'll just click here in the box. You can also click and drag and drop files on there. I prefer just to click once on the box. And then I'll go to my downloads folder. That's where the PDF that I want to use is. Here it is. So I can just double click on it. And it's uploading that worksheet into TeacherMade. It says choose one or more of the pages. This is a two page document. If page one is all I need, just deselect page two. But I do want both. I'll click make my file and TeacherMade converts it. You can see this is the screen where the magic happens. I'm excited. I hope you are. I'm going to X out of this pop-up box, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little better. But that same PDF is now in TeacherMade, and just take a look at what I can do. I can add all sorts of interactivity to this formerly static document, and the end result will be an online digital worksheet that can grade itself. So you can see there's a whole bunch of tools and features and options that I can use in TeacherMade. Now some of these are for the pro plan only, so don't get your hopes up too high about some of these features, especially those at the right here. But let's take a look at what you can do even with the free version of TeacherMade. So here at the top where it says name, I want to insert a text box for the students to be able to put in their name. So I could click here, insert, short answer, or you'll notice that that same symbol is also here on the toolbar. So I could just click this button. Either way, you can use it to insert a short answer question. So I just click on that, and then I can click and drag on the screen to create some space for that short answer. Once I've dragged out the space so that I want, I can click and drag to move it exactly where I want it to be. And in this case, that's all I need, just a space for them to type their name. And you may or may not want that. You'll have to figure that out for yourself. I want another one for the class period, so I know what period they're in. First period, second period, etc. Maybe I want that to be just a little bit wider, just in case. And now on to the questions. So let's look at this. Question number one, I'm trying to say the tall girl in Spanish. It should be la chica alta. I'm going to, again, put in a short answer, fill in the blank question. So I'll click and drag to provide some space for that. And then I'll use the mouse to move that to the exact spot I want it to be in. But now take a look at what you can do. There is a definite correct answer here, right? And so now I could double click on that question mark and I could say, okay, this question is worth one point. Or if it's a particularly hard question, maybe I make it worth two or three or four or however many you want to do. I'll just stick with one and then I'll put in the correct answer. There it is. Now, if I want to, I could click to add another correct answer. 
So for example, what if they put in a period at the end? That's correct. And you'll notice that the letter case, uppercase, lowercase, doesn't really matter unless you check this box. So I'm not going to check the box. What if they put in la niña, alta, or one of the other options? If I want to, I can put each of those in as well. So I just love that, that you can have multiple correct answers, any of them will be accepted, and the student will be given credit or points for that question. I'll click Save, and then we can move on. Now, all of these questions in this example probably should be short answer questions, but I do want you to know that there are other options. You can do a drop down, for example. So I'm going to go down here to a beautiful school and I'll click and drag and then double click on the question mark. And so because this is a drop down question, I can provide a list of choices. There's two choices. I could add a third and on and on. If you want to, you can shuffle the order, and then it's important to mark which one is the correct answer. Click Save. So now this is a drop-down question. Some of the other possible question types that you can do are open answer, long answer, paragraph answer. Those will not be automatically corrected, but those types of questions are great. You can grade them yourself, so it's important to think about using those as well. It is also possible to create a matching question, true false, multiple choice, a traditional multiple choice, check boxes. This is one of the more exciting options. You can do a hotspot activity. So let's say for example, in my Spanish class, let's say the topic is the body parts. I could put an image of a person and then I could also put some Spanish words like pierna, mano, ojo, etc. And then I could say, select the body parts that are mentioned in Spanish. So the students would then click on hotspots overlaid on top of the body. So let's pretend like there's a body here and let's say the hand is over here. So I map out that hotspot. I could double click on the question mark. We'll make that one worth two points. In order to score points, the students should click on this hotspot. Save changes. All right, what about ojo, which is eye? Well, I'll need another hotspot up here. Double click on the question mark. That's worth one. The student should click on the hotspot to get the point. I click save. So hopefully that makes sense. If your worksheet has a picture or a map or something like that, you could create a list of things they're supposed to click on. And then if they click on those hotspots, they earn the points. In my opinion, that's one of the most exciting features of TeacherMade. It's what makes this more than just recreating worksheets online and instead makes it potentially a platform for creating online activities or even games that could really be very beneficial to our students. There's also some math questions, algebraic expressions, etc. And then also you can put in some teacher text. And this is very helpful. This might be a good way to put in the list of things that they're supposed to click. So it's like putting a post-it note basically on this worksheet. I could just type something like, click on each of the following body parts. And then I list out the body parts they're supposed to click on. I could change some of these options here, save changes. So that's a good way to give some instructions to the students using this teacher text. You can add images. Just click to select the place in the document where the image will appear. Click add, and it lets you select an image from your computer that you want to add in. I put it in pretty small there, but I can resize and hold shift if I want to keep the same proportions. You can also insert color blocks. This is just if you want to add some color to the document. There's various good reasons why you would want to do that. And then the rest of these options here at the right are reserved for professional plans only. So you could add recordings. This is a very exciting option. Teacher recordings, student recordings. You can also add links. You could add drawings, highlighting and erasing. So those are some awesome features for those of you that want to pay for the professional account. There are some other options up here that you can look through. You could change some of the scoring options. What's the default score? You could update scores and there's some help options as well. But let's say I'm done with creating this worksheet. I could preview it here to see what it'll be like for the students. Let's do that. So the students type in their name, class period, and then put in some answers. Browsing down, Una Escuela Bonita, and I'll click on those hotspots. I'm gonna get 100%. So then I click check my answers, and as a student, it's submitted, and the score is 100%. So now at this point, I can X out of this assignment. And here, I can go to Actions, and I could edit the properties. I could make a copy of this worksheet or activity I've created. I could edit it, move it, all of these great options. I'm just going to go back to the My Worksheets page. This is where whenever I come into TeacherMade, I'll be taken here. 
Here are my two folders. I'm going to go into Spanish 2. Here's the worksheet or activity. And then these three dots take me to those same options that I just showed in that other view. I'm going to go here to Assign Worksheet. And this gives some instructions about how to do that. With the free account, really the best and perhaps only way to assign this to my students is to choose the Teacher Made option. I'll click Next. How will the students sign in to the assignment? Using a Google account. If your school uses Google accounts for the students, they can just sign in with a Google account and Teacher Made will, will be able to tell you what the names of the students are that are participating. Or you could use a name or ID. And if you want, you could put in a list of names that are able to access this. Or just use a custom prompt so that the students have to know what that prompt is in order to participate. In my case, I'm just going to say use a Google account. Click Next. How should the score be displayed? Points earned, points earned out of points possible, or just percentage? I'm going to go with percentage in this case. What do the students see when they turn in their work? Do they get to see their total score or some of these other options? And then once the work is graded and returned to them, what do they see? How about that? I'm going to leave that setting that way. I'll click Next. Do I want my students to be able to create their own text boxes, to be able to draw on the worksheet? Those are good options even in the free account. These last two options are only for the pro account. I'll click Save. It gives me a URL that I can copy to the clipboard and I could email that out to students. I could post it on my website, whatever website I use. I could put it in Canvas or Schoology or just about any other LMS, including Google Classroom. Notice this option here though, Share to Google Classroom. This option will not support syncing the scores. If you want to sync the scores, you must create an assignment with Google Classroom as the delivery method. Unfortunately, that's reserved for the pro account only. So if you do want to use it with Google Classroom without the Pro account, you would just click the button. It takes me to my Google Classroom account, and I can choose my class, Spanish 2. It automatically links the assignment from Teacher Made and puts it as an assignment in Google Classroom. I could put in some instructions. Please complete this online worksheet. It's worth 100 points. Maybe I'll change that, make it a little lower. I could put in a due date, and then just click Assign. Now if I go to my class, it says that I've posted a new assignment. The students will be able to click to access that teacher made assignment. So I hope you can see some of the great potential for using teacher made. I would put in a quick word about the SAMR model if you're not familiar with this. As teachers using technology, sometimes it's tempting to just take something that we already did before technology, like worksheets, and just to substitute a paper worksheet for a digital worksheet. And teacher made is great for that but that's not really a big improvement. There are some nice things, it auto grades and things like that, but I want to challenge you to think about how you could use TeacherMade to augment your worksheets or to modify them or redefine them and maybe push beyond worksheets into digital activities or other creative ways of using TeacherMade. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, please click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see links to those options in the description below the video.